What is this? What happened here? I don't know. Oh, this does not look good. Did anyone see what happened around my desk area this morning? Dwight, I really think someone's probably just playing a prank on you, so just go right through it. A prank, huh? This is official police line tape, okay? It's not a prank. Probably is. Damn it, people! Someone must have seen something! Oh, you people are useless. Jesus. Thunder Mifflin, this is Pam. Hold, please. Dwight, it's the sheriff. He said that it's really important it's regarding your desk. I'll transfer. Oh, no, no, don't! Can I... I can't it. Mmm. <sighs> Just cut through it, man. It's no big deal. Wow, man. He really wants to get in touch with you. Maybe it's a murder. No, there's no blood. Maybe poison? Possibly. My God! <sighs> no, Jim, no! Gah. Sheriff, this is Dwight Schrute. Press the pound key. What's your 20? So, uh... Have you found a band yet for your wedding? No. Because I'm in a band. We really rock. Yeah, I mean, it's inevitable. I definitely overhear some wedding preparation, but I'm fine with it. She hears me arranging my social life, and we both have to hear Dwight order deer urine over the internet, so it evens out. <laughs> so I got the save the date. Yeah? Yeah, pretty station. Oh, though. thanks. I didn't get mine yet. There are a few people I decided not to invite. And that might make things kind of awkward, but it's my wedding. And I don't want anyone there who has called me a hussy. Oh, I don't know, Pam. I paid $400 for this phone because I like the ring. You did? And now I realize that you can program or download any ring you want, so I'm a little overwhelmed. Yeah. There's a lot of choices. You gotta help me. Here. Okay. Which one of these is coolest? What do you think? How about that one? No, no. Oh, that one was good. Are you kidding me? No, that one says I am so lame. You know which one I want? There's one that sounds like a jackhammer. Just really grabs your attention. It's like... <clears throat> You know what I'm talking about? Do you mean vibrate? Yes. So, I'm happy to be here. It's very nice to see all of you. You're all looking well. Today's a women in the workplace thing. Jan's coming in from corporate to talk to all the women about, um, I don't really know what, but Michael's not allowed in. She said that about five times. Women today, though we have the same options as men, we often face a very different set of obstacles in getting there. So, hey, what's going on, Michael? I, yeah, I, I thought you know we what? agreed I, that you I just, I, be I here. thought about it. I just have a few things I want to say. <clears throat> what are you doing? Well, just hear me out. <clears throat> what is more important than quality? Equality. Now, studies show that today's woman, the Allie McBeal woman, as I call her, is at a crossroads. Michael. And no, just. I, you have come a long way, baby. But I just just want to keep it within Michael, reason. They did this up in you Albany. You are not allowed in And they ended up turning the break session. room into a lactation okay. room, which is disgusting. Now so. you're really not allowed in well, this session. Well, I'm their boss, so I'm I your feel boss. like... Anybody want any coffee or anything? We're fine, Michael. We just need you to leave, please. Women in the workplace. Yeah, translation. I have been banned from my own conference room so that Jan can talk in secret to all the girls. Oh, sorry, women of the workplace. About what? I don't know. Clothes, me. <sighs> Ladies, I am so, so sorry. Can we start again? We were on such a roll. I, I, I really Jan? apologize for that. Yes, Pam. Michael's still at the door. Michael! Everybody? Hello, can I have your attention, please? Since it's Valentine's Day, there's something that I wanted to say. I love the women of this office. Pam, I love you. Mm. 
Michael's got a few tricks for Valentine's Day. He found a place where you can get 12 plastic roses for $10, and he's got a great line. Me so thorny. I love you, Phyllis. Milady. I love you, Angela. Yes, even you. I love you, Kelly. I love you, Meredith. This is all platonically, of course. And I have one more. And this one goes to... to me because I'm heading to New York and I need some good karma. Yeah, but roses don't give you good karma. Roses are symbols of death. You know what, just, okay. There you go, smart no, guy. Ah! Whoa, okay. Problem solved. I love ladies, always have. And you know what I think is the most attractive part of a woman's body? The brains. Because I don't think a woman is beautiful unless she is smart. And also, the brains are where ladies get their best nasty ideas for bedroom stuff. I really like Valentine's Day in this office. It's kind of like grade school. Everybody gives out little presents and stuff. Like last year, Jim gave me this card with Dwight's head on it. It was horrifying and funny. And... Phyllis. You could just sign here. Roy and I are saving for the wedding, so I made him promise not to get me anything too big. Happy Valentine's Day, darling. Love, Bob Vance. Vance Refrigeration. Isn't he sweet? Yeah. Wow. All right, Dwight. As you know, I'm heading to New York today doing a presentation on the branch to the new CFO. And you want me to come with you? No. The opposite of that. I will stay here and run things on this end. Good, good. Question. Will you be seeing Jan when you're in New York? I probably will. Why do you ask? Well, it's Valentine's Day, and you guys... <sighs> You know. Well, <laughs> screwed. What is your problem? This is a business trip. I would have to be a raving lunatic to try to talk to Jan about what happened between us. Her words, not mine. She sent me an email this morning. But it is Valentine's Day. It's New York, city of love. Hey, Pam, you hard NY, right? You want me to pick you up anything? That's okay. All right. The best present would be you do a good job in front of the new CFO. Dude, I'm gonna nail it. Me in New York, ah, oh, I own that city. Forget about it. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>